Did you know that you can rent stocks out similar to how you rent out a rental house? Did you know that you can get paid by sellers while you wait to buy a stock at the price that you want to buy it at? By the time this video is over, you will know how you can generate awesome returns by getting paid to wait to buy a stock and by renting your stock out. First, I'd like to salute you for setting aside the time for putting forth the effort to improve your financial education. That's the number one best thing you can do to improve your financial situation in life. I am Randy Perez. I'm a 21 plus year real estate investor as well as stock and option trader. And when I trade stocks, I trade dividend stocks. Today, I'm going to share with you a little understood technique of selling put and call options that I use to collect rent on my stocks, as it were, or to be paid while I wait on the price of a stock to come down to the price that I want to buy it at. But you might be asking, why don't you just buy real estate if you want rental income. Well, I do love real estate and I do love rental income, but there's several reasons why I like trading options and stocks as well. One of them is to generate multiple streams of income, but even more important reasons are you don't have to deal with tenants. You don't have to worry about contractors or subcontractors or employees. You don't have to worry about maintenance. You don't have to worry about vacancy. Don't have to worry about the liabilities that real estate presents. And I can still get monthly cash flow as you're going to see from this video. And I can grow my portfolio without having to hire new or more employees or new or more contractors have to deal with more tenants. It can all be grown exponentially. So let's get into how you can trade options and stocks and generate that monthly cash flow just like we do with our rental properties. Today we're going to consider a stock that I've been trading over the past year and that's ABV, ticker symbol ABBV. Now this is not a recommendation. Please do your own research. I'm simply using this stock as an example of one that I've been trading so you can see how those trades were done and the benefits you can receive financially from using options. About a year ago, I noticed that ABV have dropped from a high, it had been at $125 per share in the previous year. It had dropped all the way down to $77 per share about a year ago. I liked the company. I felt like it was a solid company and so I wanted to buy some. But I wanted to make sure that I bought it at a very good price and I wanted to make sure that the price had stabilized. So what could I do to get paid while I waited on that stock to stabilize and to make sure I bought it at the price that I wanted to buy it at which was between $72 and $75. So I did something that you cannot do in real estate. I made the sellers pay me while I waited for that stock to come down to the price that I wanted to buy it at and while I waited for the stock to stabilize. Imagine you going to a seller or going to a real estate agent and saying, hey, I'd like for the seller to pay me every month while I wait for that price to get down as low as I want the price to be at. I want to get paid for that every month while I wait for that. Is that okay? The seller or the real estate agent will look at you like, like you're crazy. But as an option trader, that's exactly what we can do. We can get paid while we wait for a price of a stock to come down to where we want to buy that. And that's exactly what we did in this situation. Now, if you're brand new to trading options, you don't know much about them, I encourage you to check out the ebook that I wrote called New Beginnings the option trading story. The link is in the description below. And in there, it tells you all about options. It'll help you understand how they work. So I won't go into details on that in this video. But if you're new to option trading, check the book out. It's written in a way that is fun and it is a short read, but there's a lot of knowledge packed in this. So you understand how options work. So let's see what's happened with Abby in the past year. While we're waiting to buy the stock at our desired price between $72 and $75, we sold put options. Now this gives the buyer of that option the right to put the stock into our account and for us to buy it from them at the strike price that we sold. So what options did we sell? Well, we sold put options on November the 19th and we got 22 cents per share. We then sold options a month later on December 19th and got 72 cents per share. On January the 16th, we collected $1.58 cents per share and then several months later, on June the 3rd, we got an additional $1.37 per share. Several weeks later, on June the 25th, we got $1.74 per share 
All of this for selling put options between $72.5 and $75 strike prices. Then finally, on July the 16th, the stock was put into our account and we bought it at $75, which was our desired purchase price. So we were paid $5.63 per share while we waited on the stock to stabilize and to buy it at the price that we wanted to buy it at. You can't do that in real estate. If this were a $75,000 house, in this case, we would own a thousand shares of AbbVie. If this were a $75,000 house, we would have been paid $5,630 while we waited on the price to come down to the price that we wanted to buy it at. Well, now what? First of all, we start collecting that dollar and seven cent per quarter dividend payment. In addition to that, we start renting our stock out. And we do this by selling call options. Now understand that call options give the person that buys it from us the right to buy our stock at that price to call away from us at that price. Now I have no intention of selling this stock. I want to own this stock for a long time. So in a few moments, I'm going to show you how you can avoid your stock being called away from you. But first, let's see what we've collected in rent on our stock. On August the 7th, we got 60 cents for selling call options or renting our stock out. And then about a month later, on September the 19th, we got $1.85 per share for selling call options at the 72 and a half strike price. Right now, AbbVie is trading at $76.48. So those call options that we sold are what's called in the money. The price of the stock is higher than the 72 and a half strike that we sold those options at. So if it were expiration day, which is actually November the 15th, then the person that bought those call options from us could call the stock out of our account. Now we don't want that to happen. So what can we do to prevent that? Well, I'm going to tell you in just a moment. But before that, if you're liking what you're getting out of this video, please consider hitting the like button as well as hitting the subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you get a notification every time we release a new video. I'm committed to helping you build multiple streams of passive income. So what do we do now to avoid our stock being called away from us? Well, this requires just a little bit of work, literally one to two minutes a day. And this is what you need to do. What you want to watch for is to make sure there's at least 20 cents of time premium left in that call option that we sold. Right now, AbbVie is trading at $76.48. The call option we sold at 72 and a half is trading at around $4.65. This option is $3.98 in the money or above our strike price of $72.50. So if you take that $4.65 that that option is trading for now, minus the $3.98 that is in the money, there's 67 cents of time premium left in the option we sold. That's the only thing we need to look at every day if the option we sold is in the money. And we really don't even need to begin to look at that until about two weeks before expiration. Once that difference is less than 20 cents, we should roll the call option to a later month, also known as getting the next month's rent payment. Well, what would that look like? What if we think AbbVie isn't going to continue going up like it has the past two months, what would that look like to roll that call option? What kind of rent could we collect by renting that stock out for another month into December? Well, we'd have to first buy back that November call that we sold short at 72 and a half. And that will cost us about $4.65. We can then sell the December 72 and a half call and collect $5.45. So net in our pocket, would be 90 cents per share. If this were a $75,000 house, we'd have to own a thousand shares at $75 per share. So a thousand shares times 90 cents per share in premium would mean that we'd be getting $900 in rent for that month for this stock. That's cash right into our pocket that we can spend just like a rent check. Let's say we think AbbVie might continue going up and we want to benefit from the stock price going up. What could we do then? Well, we could buy that short call that we sold that's expiring in November at 72 and a half. We could buy that call back for $4.65 and sell the February $75 call for $4.87 per share. So notice what's happening here. We get to take advantage of AbbVie moving up by $2.50 plus 
we get to pocket 22 cents in rent until February or four months worth. Now that isn't really much rent at all, but we get to keep the stock appreciation and we also get to start collecting the dividends that are paid out quarterly. So we get two dividend payments of $1.07 each. Total collected will be $2.36 plus we get $2.50 in appreciation if the stock continues moving higher. So as you can see, we can get paid by selling options against stocks that we want to buy. We can be paid while we wait for their prices to come down to the spot where we want to buy them at. And then once we own those stocks, we can start renting them out as it were, just like we do a rental house and collect rental premium every month by selling call options. And we can do this while benefiting from stock appreciation and collecting those dividends. I love rental property. That's where I got my start. That's where I got the cash that I now use to trade stocks. But I really like trading stocks and options as well. They allow me to make monthly cash flow, see appreciation, get paid dividends, all without having to deal with tenants, vacancy, more employees, more subcontractors, and the potential liability that comes with rental property. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. In our next video, it's going to be a very exciting video. It's going to talk about how you can finance rental property and real estate without using traditional banks. This is something that I used a lot of during the recession, as well as throughout my whole career. We're going to talk about the details of how to get owners to do owner financing, how to present subject to deals to them, and how to raise private money. These are ways you can finance real estate without having any credit. Or maybe your credit is damaged, but you want to get going to real estate right now. Well, these are tools you should have in your tool bag to help you buy property right away. So subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell. That way you get a notice as soon as those videos are released. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.